What will happen tomorrow? I do not know, but I encourage you to vote if you have not already done so, and to vote at every contest on the ballot, from the presidency all the way down to the Water and Soil Conservation Board. But please vote wisely. Look at the platform of each candidate and vote for those whose values align most closely with the Bible. Next, please pray. Pray for God to do a work in our nation and that people will follow Him. Pray for those conducting the election, for their safety from the virus, and for wisdom handling issues that arise. Pray for the candidates themselves, who undoubtedly will be under a great deal of stress. Then pause and relax. Be still and know that God will be exalted in the earth, whether your candidates win or lose. God does know what will happen tomorrow because He knows everything, and God will work in the results tomorrow to accomplish His purpose. So, while it's important that we vote, our hope does not come from the White House, the houses of Congress, the courthouses across our country, or our state houses. No, the hope for this nation resides in the gospel preached in church houses and lived out in homes all over this nation. Let's remember where real hope resides. Let's commit ourselves to following God's Word. No matter how we feel about the outcome tomorrow, commit to pray for those in leadership, for everyone in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. And may we never forget that the gospel surpasses any political party or politician. May we always faithfully fulfill our charge to be ambassadors for Christ, doing all we can to help others be reconciled to God. If we as Christians fulfill our purpose tomorrow and in the days that follow, our nation wins no matter the result of the election. Father, be with our nation. Help us as Christians to be salt and light today, tomorrow, and until you return. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen.